Hi everybody, I'm going to do a tutorial today with a green and purple look, violet look. Uh, what I did so far, because I hope my tutorials always go over, is I used MAC Shade Stick in Lucky Jade. Okay. And Fresh Cement. And my eyes. And I also did my base and my eyebrows. Okay, so the first color I'm going to start with is Jux. I'm just going to use a regular eyeshadow brush for that. Oops. Actually, a little bit of overgrown and jux mixed together in the inner corner. I guess in her half, in her, like the first half, the eye. I'm actually, I actually set up a timer today because I always go over my videos and I either have to do it in two parts or one I totally had to trash because I couldn't edit it. I might redo it, but. At least I took pictures, so I wasn't totally put off. Okay, you don't have to worry too much about the lines, I just want to get it even to this one. Oh, this is the beach soundtrack playing in the background. Okay. Next, I'm going to use um, a color by Too Faced, Ego. Okay. In the center. I get my brushes from Target. This is uh it's not a Target brand, it's called Studio Something. It's like in clear packaging with um a blue background. And they're cheap. This was probably like two ninety nine and I've had this brush forever. Just gotta wash them and you're good. Okay, then I'm using an um a NYX color called Red Bean Pie. It's not really red, it's definitely purple. Okay wine color. He's in the outer corners. And up into the crease. I don't know if I told you guys, but I'm pregnant. So if you see any like, you know, mishaps here, I had some breakouts this week. That's why I really haven't been able to do a video. And I can't really treat it you know, compared to what I used to be able to do. I had a whole skin, skin regimen, but can't use the same products while you're pregnant. So, just got to grin and bear it. I'm about six months now, so. And what I can use, I can use a little bit more, because the baby's bigger, but it doesn't really bug me that much, only when I break out, which doesn't really happen often, just every now and then. Okay, so I have this up into the crease, and then the outer corner. Okay, nice. And I'm also going to add a touch of Nocturnal, which is this color here. 
I don't know if you can see it. This color. Okay. Oh, I think I hit pan. Whoa. Just add a little bit more of that grapiness look. I'm watching my stop clock. I'm not messing today. Okay. That's done. Now I'm going to get a clean brush. This just happens to be a MAC brush, 217. And I'm using an Ulta color sandstone for the highlight. And I'm going to take this all the way down and make sure I blend from inner to outer so that green doesn't get swallowed. Okay, and the same thing over here. Oops. I do my eyebrows before, but, you know, most times I have to go back and clean it up. Okay. Now with another brush, I'm just going to add a little bit more of the overgrown. I want to be able to see that color in the inner side, inner corner. I have my brushes in um, toothbrush holders. So if you hear a lot of clank and that's what's going on. Okay. So that's the look so far. Clean up my brows a little bit. Um, I actually put on some format on the cheeks already. Okay, and now I'm just gonna do the black track liner. I do not want to run out of time. I want to come in under time. Okay. I'm doing okay. Okay, so here's the liner. Just a nice thin line. I don't know where 10 minutes goes. I mean, what did I do? <laughs> okay. And if I do have time, not as tight as I would like, but you guys get the idea. Then I'm going to use Lash Blast as a mascara. I have to make another video. Bye!